Uh, by the way, at the 6.5 Summit announced, uh, you know, a powerful new observability solution. I had the chance to talk to CEO Rob Bearden on the 6.5 Summit. And on the day of, they put out a press release. You know, isn't it cool that the 6.5 Summit is becoming a product launch platform? So, I do. I love that. I love that so um, much. And really what they announced was a SaaS tool that provides uh, telemetry data and gives visibility into the performance and health of the Cloudera environment. So in an era of uh, observability, Cloudera 2 is launching an observability platform. So, um, you know, it's basically all about customers being able to monitor and optimize their platform, um, you know, with the era of AI growing. And, and by the way, Cloudera having something like, what, 50 times the data, 50 times the data of Snowflake or something under management. It's a huge amount. It's a huge amount of data under management. And they're going to be able to use this to basically now uh, optimize the data platform, deal with financial governance, system monitoring, service health monitoring, workload optimization, uh, what else? Self-service analytics uh, and issue resolution. Now, this is focused on the Cloudera data environment. So this is not observability in the sense of like the observability that's looking at a whole IT architecture and ecosystem. This is basically saying you may have, you have petabytes of data in your business under management, and this all this data is influential to how apps run, how infrastructure is performing and such. So it's working inside the Cloudera data environment to provide observability um, so that you know you can use Cloudera and you know find issues, root causes, support requests. Um, I thought this was a good ad, Pat. I mean, this was a good additional uh, uh, capability. You know, their roadmap has been very innovative uh, for a company that, you know, sometimes doesn't get credit for being innovative. You know, um, they've been showing predictive, you know, AI focused stuff, Pat, AI and ML. By the way, another company that's been doing this for a really long time. It's not like a new thing there, but predictive tuning, automated uh, metadata, intelligent troubleshooting, uh, cost predict predictions and capacity. So these are things that they're doing and building around the observability platform. And I think the observability platform is giving customers more of a reason to stay. And I think for Cloudera, that's got to be a big focus with all the hyperscale cloud provider data solutions, with all the born on cloud, is they need to make sure they're compelling the market and the customers that have been building for a long time on Cloudera to stay on Cloudera. And I think this observability solution gives more ammo to keep the customers on the platform. Sorry, folks. Sorry, audience. Two dogs just barking away. My apologies. Um, no, listen, first of all, observability is all the rage, and that's because of the fractalization of infrastructure and applications. There was a day that all data applications and infrastructure was in one place, and you kind of knew if that, uh, you know, that mini computer or mainframe uh, or even x86 server application went awry, you knew where the problem was. But now we've got applications that utilize 12 different APIs that all have to come together. Uh, we have infrastructure in the on-prem, public cloud, on the edge, multiple IS providers, and you need to figure out what the heck is going on. Heck, there could be something going on in your device at the endpoint that, 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 that is a problem. So it's all the rage. Uh, one of the areas that people haven't invested a lot in is observability for data management. And that's exactly what, uh, what Cloudera uh, is doing here. Uh, like, uh, you know, they're, they're looking at it from a security point of view, right? You can run up a ton of, uh, you know, you can clog up an entire database with some rogue application hitting it uh, a million times. Uh, the second thing you can do is um, you can spot a security issue. I uh, like the cost management uh, point of view uh, as well. In the future, I fully expect them to join some interop observability interoperability group uh, to be able to work uh, cross uh, across every every observability to make it easier for the enterprise to stitch all those observability uh, packages together. <laughs> 